January is always a hard month. You come home to a dead tree and you go from a month of parties and busyness and friends and family to reality. Every year I find this month hard and this year I think it might be worse than ever. Because the way I look at my life is like <laughs> there are five pillars. If all those pillars are you know, standing and good and in good working order, then everything's kind of held up and it's, it's good, it's solid. And if one of those pillars falls down, that's okay because you know, you've got the other four and if two fall down, yeah, you still got three. At the moment, three of my pillars are down <laughs> and I'm not doing very well. So my pillars, for anyone interested, are my family and friends, my romantic life, my mental well-being my physical well-being and my professional life. At the moment, family and friends are good. My romantic life is fine, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. And <laughs> my physical and mental health, not good, not good at the moment. I <laughs> went for blood tests recently because I wasn't feeling very well. I was, I was just tired all the time. The kind of tired that sleep doesn't fix. I could sleep for like 10 hours and wake up feeling still tired. And through all this, I'm flying to Toronto and New York. I made a video there. I came back and made another sketch here. I did like seven videos for Collabmas and I was doing that presenting job every week. And I, I just I had a lot on, <laughs> I had a lot on. So I went to the doctor, got some blood tests and lo and behold, he calls me to say, get your ass in here. You seriously need some B12. You're like, dangerously low on it. For anyone who doesn't know, B12, in the least scientific way possible, it essentially does lots of things, but it gives you energy. A normal human has a B12 count of between sort of 200 and 900, 900 being sort of the upper limits. Mine was at 90, which I laugh about, but that's like, it's not okay. So I'm going for injections. That should hopefully help. But in the meantime, I'm so tired. When my physical health is bad, that makes me less capable of dealing with my mental stuff. It's very difficult being in this apartment. Coming back here after Christmas, especially after having such lovely time at home with family and then staying a few nights in Jack's where I had Dan and Kieran as well and everyone else who was visiting, it felt so fun and lively and, and full of people and conversation. And then I came back here and it's just really empty and quiet and... Everywhere I looked, it's just a bad memory. And I knew I was gonna be moving in with Dodie and we knew we'd be moving in February. So I thought I can get through January as well. That'll be okay. But apparently I can't. I'm trying really hard to sort of just count my blessings, but being here doesn't feel right anymore. Professionally, you know, for I think most creative types, this, this probably happens. You're not going back into like an office job where you just sort of pick up where you left off. Like all my projects that I was working on in the run up to Christmas that I mentioned earlier, they're all just done now and you have to start fresh. And I don't really know exactly what I'm doing with my channel right now. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna continue this. Apparently I am. Oh, by the way, I meant to like start this and be like, yay, time of the month, it's back. I totally fooled you, lol. I didn't, I didn't do that because it's not how I'm feeling. I'm like, ah, January. And I hate that that's how I'm starting this year, but it is. I think I just need to do what I did after the breakup, you know, just sort of fake it till you make it. I need to just get out there and get busy and, and book things in and see friends and have good time. I need to just fucking get out there and enjoy this awesome city that I live in and the awesome people that I have in my life. I need to just push through till February. So this is me pushing through. Trying to be 
see in my shop. You ruin all my montages. We're in Leicester Square. They filled it with all these like flowers and plants and this one looks really cool. Uh, so. You can watch both Dan's and Hayley's. Dan fucking vlogging at the same time as me again. Not anymore. We're not sure why, but there's all these lights around London. There they are. <laughs> They've just turned off the lights. We're, we're, look, they're closing the gate. They, we just got here. <laughs> If we just stopped vlogging and gone inside like two and minutes ago. The light off. That's it, fun's over. I realise what we're actually doing right now is Adrian Bliss. Like we're full Adrian Bliss. We, are. <laughs> we found more lights! But it's not just the lights in Piccadilly Circus that make London at night time so fantastic. It's thought there's a man pissing over there. That's lovely. Huh? Where? There she is. Happy birthday, Louise. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you! 16 today. Oh, 16 again! Wow! Yes! We sit on the throne of lies. <laughs> what was that doing? I'm crumbling with guilt. <laughs> Kaylee's dessert is on three plates. Three? How many, how many plates you got there, Kaylee? Three plates? Three plates. Clean as well. I just like the best thing ever. 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 Ever.
Dean. That's a bit sarcastic. That's a little bit sarky. It's not. Okay. okay. Dan, genuine smile. Great. Kieran? Oh. That's a good Tails? Oh, for fuck, guys! Are you looking up how to cut a mango? Oh, yeah. I've got a mango. Right. And I don't know how to prepare it, but Jamie does. Why are you sitting on the stairs doing that, mate? Because Wi Fi. So remember last night when we had a going away party for Kaylee because she was going back to the States today? Well, she didn't. She went to the airport and the flight was full. So they paid her to stay in the country an extra day and get a different flight. And now... Jokes! Jokes! Look who's Out back! Out of focus jokes! Yeah. Look who's back! Back again. again! It's just me! We're so white. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's been a day. There's been a lot of ongoing shit, largely due to apartment hunting. So we've ordered burgers. This great. Is, it's also, of a great night. It's the makings of a beautiful night. Yeah. We've got some, got some wine. We've got some wine. Got some Dry January is going really oh, well. Good. Just yeah, going yeah. really well. Thanks for asking. It's going great. Mm -hmm. And we've got some dessert. So the diet's also just. We're doing. We're really killing yeah, it. Yeah. We're, we're just it. doing good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Gypsy Talk with Kenny Malloy. Hey. hey. And Daniel J. Layton, but he's, he's also, also here. here. He's and also sober. This looks horrid. You look so flat. Uh -huh. Dan thinks the lighting is too flat. It is. What do you think? Leave a comment, let us know. <laughs> Do a little radio show, innit? That's Carrie. She's here as well. Hi. Ben's here. I'm gonna Hi, say some hello. things into a microphone and then they're hey. gonna broadcast it to the nation. How that works. It's been hard at work. It's got a lot of buttons. Got, I've, I've got a lot of buttons, a lot of things to think about, <laughs> but it's going to be okay. It is, yeah. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> just watching him fail. Just watching him just press buttons really? wildly. One Carrie's won this. I'm sure she's delighted. I can't wait to find oh, yeah, that on my yeah. tiny, tiny phone. Yeah. I want a photo of Carrie with her special prize. <laughs> yeah. A bit, Signed photo of me. with an agency about doing a thing at the BAFTAs. Semi nailed that. Oh, now boom, yeah. we're gonna have some oh, food. We're gonna watch the Robin Hood. We're gonna see Leo. Oh, okay, I understand that Kaylee's gone now and you have to replace her. I miss her. Kaylee. Yeah. I want Kaylee to be here. Oh, I love it. That's it's cool. <laughs> They're all just so enthralled. <laughs> not be zooming <laughs> It's my birthday! Um, I'm just checking my mail and my mother sent me something lovely. Well, it's probably not, but I decided to vlog it anyway. I lost the key to my post box and ever since I've been like putting my hand in to get my <laughs> mail out. Jack reckons he's better at it than me. I am. I'm doing this the first time I've ever done it and everything's now out of it. But Jack, could, you're better could, at everything than me. Why are we not surprised? I could just nick everyone's post. I won't. Is there anything you're not better at than me? Being, Singing. I'm never gonna disagree with you. <laughs> Left them. <laughs> uh, yeah. Helen, there's no need for this. Anyone from my will, will know how hilarious that is. That she's used this. A bag is in a bag is in a bag. All right. Say it. No. Say it. No. Say it. No. Say it. It's by exception. <laughs> Good, she sent me Panty Blisters DVD and I think there's a joke but I don't get it. I like this. I don't understand why that's funny. Oh. Curly whirly. Curly whirly. Wow. Ooh. Really. A scan of that. That is. What I want is this wallpaper. Just everywhere. <laughs> in life. <laughs> Thanks man. That's lovely. You're the best. There's also Aoife Valentine who 
uh, interviewed me for the Irish Times has sent me a copy of the paper. Right, so she interviewed me about time of the month, which you're watching right now, how I met her. And now it's in a newspaper, and there's a thing in a newspaper about time of the month. Isn't that ridiculous? My favourite bit is this picture of me, Jack and Dean on the set of uh, Sexy Torture Chamber. The caption reads, <laughs> above, Hazel Hayes with fellow YouTubers, Dean Dobbs, in brackets. Kneeling, and he's kneeling like a dog. Jeff. I, w I wish that the, the the bracket said pretending to be a dog. And they've put that in an, a national newspaper. This is me in my most recent film, not the John Lewis Christmas ad. No, it's not. No, it's not, Jack. But read the caption. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> focus this whole time. <laughs> That's my favourite bit. Birthday update! Birthday's been good. We did have to stop by the grade on uh, Jack's new series. So that was like an hour of my birthday that- Hold on, just pan to the right for a second. I had a bit of dinner, now we're heading to a screening of the big short, which I'm told is very, very good. It's a bloody birthday. We're catching a movie. Yeah, we're going to catch that way to celebrate. It's only birthday girl, though. Rana also. We've come in search of cake and alcohol. Boy, have we found it. <laughs> so, happy birthday me, I guess. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Continuing in the vein of January being shit, I'm sick. I thought it's just one of those nondescript illnesses. I have to listen to Jack Howard singing Lenny Kravitz as punishment for being sick, apparently. We met the landlords today for the new apartment, which was exciting. I'm so excited to move in. I'm so ready. The place is lovely. And it's just, I'm just ready for the change now. I'm moving and I'm working on several videos and I've just uploaded December's time of the month, which was so nicely received, thank you. That is the sound of a teaspoon in a cup. I'm about to receive tea. It is, oh, in, it is in a Starbucks coffee mug, babe. but don't get confused. Oh. There you go. Oh, thank. Now people are gonna think I'm nice to you. Oh, imagine that. Fuck you. That's just a, that's just a balance. That's the restore some balance. I can confirm, with a hundred percent accuracy, that he's never nice to me. Giving me tea was just for the camera. This entire relationship is strategic, just to get views. So we'll probably, I'll, as soon as I turn this off now, he'll start being mean to me again. Yeah. You're not really nice to me. We just do it for the views. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's strategy. Welcome to Angelated. Hi. I've been knocked out of the Prime of Blood. The what? The Prime of Blood. The Prime of Blood. Struck down in the Prime of Blood. I've been struck down in the Prime of Blood. I appreciate the reference very much. <laughs> it's Karen O'Brien. Not give permission to appear in this video. Oh, Karen, for fuck's sake. Struck down once again in the Prime of Blood. In the Prime of Blood. What are you actually trying to say? Oh, do not give permission to appear in this. That's ass. Dear John Williams Orchestra, please will you do one Harry Potter, and uh, if we're going to do movie soundtracks and they're going to sing along while it's on Spice World, the movie would be brilliant. Really? Like the actual Spice Girls singing the songs while it's on. That'd be well funny. Where's the dogs? How have you been? And then they're Wolverine? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it that does that? Wolverine! 
No, but like they have, they have big things. Are you just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Kieran, what the fuck are you doing, babe? Hello. I do not give my permission to <laughs> this video is fucking serious. <laughs> I'm not joking. Now we've been doing the Pottermore quiz. The new quiz is out. Lads, talk us through it. Uh, I, I was oh. too nervous to do the official quiz. Wait till I zoom down, it's very slow. And you're up. I was too nervous to do the official quiz. So I did the quiz. <laughs> sorry, sorry, come on. You're too nervous to do the official quiz. Is that why you didn't do it? Yeah, because why do I sign up to Pottermore and then it tells me I'm a Hufflepuff? I'm a Gryffindor, obviously. Um... Obviously, you're such a Is that why you told me you didn't think I was a Gryffindor? You can't, you can't be with, with, in the same one as me, Dan. What did you predict I was going to be? Slytherin. And what am I? Slytherin. Lovely. I don't like to be that predictable, and it's just like, oh, Slytherin, oh, lol, because she's such a bitch. She's a Slytherin. Smile. They're like ambitious, driven... Cunts. ...leaders of men. <laughs> I'm using that clip, I don't care. Dan? Yeah? Do you want to go visit Nana Helen in March? Yeah. Yeah? Can I come? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You and Jack are going to come. We're going to have a little visit. Okay. Is it double date? Nope. Because yeah, you, you would, you'd, need, you'd need a date for that. Yeah, Helen. <laughs> That's why I asked you. <laughs> <laughs> Dad's making a wardrobe. Yeah. Only. There it is. Seven months after we moved in. Kieran's playing the field. What? In there? Not in there. He's playing, he's playing <laughs> the field. <laughs> <laughs> I've googled the word falafel because I didn't know how to spell it. F A L A F E L. Falafel. That's what I'm up to. It's not a great angle, is it? No. I need to cancel the touch while I focus on that. Kiss! You're magic. <laughs> I do not give them Cause stop it! Stop it, to, you little troll. Update, I lost a lot of footage from early January where myself and Dodie were going apartment hunting, but we have found a place, we have found an apartment, and it currently, it's just a shell, take a little look, just a shell, oh but this is soon to be our home! Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so excited. It's just like blank walls at the moment, but we'll make it like really yeah, nice. It's gonna be so nice. Yeah. We're really, really excited. So that's where we're at today. We're just over here with the estate agent signing the contracts and getting ourselves sorted. This is gonna be my room. Welcome to my room. This is gonna be my ensuite. Ensuite, that's French for tiny bathroom. Sort of wardrobe in this sort of area. This is our hall. This is like Dodie's lovely. Bathroom here, and this is our kitchen. Yay, lovely high up oven, as displayed by the beautiful. Show them the drawer. Show them the drawer. Ah, yeah. What? What are we doing? Signing. Signing. Bye bye. Okay, here we go. Yay! You do it now. <laughs> yeah. This is so much more exciting than getting married. <laughs> Screw that. been really struggling with the outro for this month. I think it's because I'm still kind of in the same place as I was when the month began. <laughs> like physically and metaphorically. I'm still here. <laughs> and like I did what I said I would do. I, I got out there and I had fun. I had a lot on this month. I've been busy. But I think what you're not seeing is the sort of behind the scenes where I, you know, come back here every night and I'm still here and I'm just sort of here for days on end. Editing December was a really tough edit. I enjoyed it, but it was, it was like a grueling long edit. It can be really lonely. This is getting to me as well, creatively. It was always going to be hard to top December. It was just a great month. I was thinking about like, how can I go bigger and better? Like, what can I do at the end of January that's gonna be like really impactful and profound? And it's like, why should I? Like, that's, that's not real. That's not what this month is. This month has been waiting. And then that just dredges up like loads of questions about what I'm doing in general. You know, am I, am I creatively good? Am I making good stuff? Am I, better than I was? Have I grown 
since this time last year. And I don't mean numbers, I don't mean grown in terms of numbers. I mean, have I grown as, as a, a creator and as a person? Am I making better stuff? You just start doubting yourself. You just start doubting yourself. And I'm doubting this whole series and I'm doubting whether I should be continuing it, I guess. Like, will I learn as much from it? Will you guys get as much out of it? I want to do it, like deep down, when I thought about all the reasons why I could do this series again, the thing that kept surfacing for me was I want to. The series as a whole is bigger than the sum of its parts and that while each individual month might not always be as significant as I would hope, hopefully looking back, piecing them together will mean something. So, <laughs> My camera died, which I took as like a sign from the universe that I should just stop spouting all my mental crap at the internet and go, you know, eat some chicken instead. So I did that. I made like a little sort of side salad type thing of like spinach and then I was eating that and <laughs> there was a slug in my spinach, it wasn't even particularly small. Like, it was, it was a slug. That slug is the physical manifestation of this month. Oh, Hazel, what are you doing? This is nearly as bad as Louise's pumpkin video. <laughs> Everything's you know, fine. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything, it really, <laughs> <laughs> Who are you trying to convince Hazel? This happens every year. I hit a slump every year. Every year I pull myself back out of it. And you know, I've thought about it and like, I am better off than I was this time last year. In <laughs> so many respects. I just need to be patient and I just need to wait. And it's February soon. The move is coming soon. Fresh start. Living with Dodie is gonna be insane. Everything's fine. It's gonna be fine, Hazel, if you're listening. You're gonna be fine, babe. I think that's it, I think. <laughs> I think that's all I wanna say. Oh, what a weird end to the month. What a shit ending. <laughs> so shit. <laughs> Fuck, okay, look. I'm, I'm ending it there before I say anything else. That's been January, unfortunately.